Alright, today we're going to be comparing my 22 Limitless Sled Deck to my 2024 Dirt Deck Sled Deck. And um, we're going to give you some differences, similarities, and uh, kind of just show you around the decks. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice is that extra bar at the bottom. And I'm going to show you what that does in a second here. Okay, so we're going to take the ramp out of the Dirt Deck right now. Um, I just mentioned the bar, and I'm going to show you what that does now. Uh, the Limitless doesn't have a bar like this, so you're mainly made for um, when you're taking out just by yourself. So one person, take that all the way back, and you can just grab your ramp. Pull it all the way almost out. Rest on that bar. And it's just an easy putting it onto the back bar because this ramp is a little heavier it's come with the caliber track guides and ski guides putting it back in is just as easy you're going to take it down from that back bar rest on that uh, ramp bar just slides in like that and you're done okay now we're going to show you the limitless ramp it is a little lighter, so you can just manhandle it, um, but the only downside to that is it is a little weaker, you could say. It does flex in the middle, depending on how much weight you have on it. You can see it flex when a sled goes up, but um, you don't need two guys or the helper bar that the dirt deck has. You can actually see the bar starting to bend a little bit from going up it. The ski glides do have windows in them, so that's where they lose a lot of their weight. But um, I can't tell you how many times I've almost put my foot through those and fallen straight to the ground, so that is a downfall. Also, another big thing that I almost forgot. So they have the bottoms here to help grab onto ice on icy lots or anything like that. Um, I'd say they work sometimes. Um, preferably if you have this deck, try to get it in snow or anything you can pack it into. Cause these don't really like to hold the best. If that's on ice and you come coming up this ramp, it will push this whole ramp right off of this bar. And I mean, I've seen my buddy's ramps or I've done it to mine. The ramp will completely shoot up and you'll be at your tailgate with the sled. That's where this dirt deck bar, they have the locking square. So, I mean, there's no way it pops off of this bottom flat piece. Once again, Limitless Ramp is going to go in just how it came out. Um, you do have to manhandle it if you have one guy, but it's not that bad. So as you can see, the Limitless deck has their custom Limitless diamond cutout decking. So as you can tell by this video, it's a relatively flat decking. They do have the cutout diamond stitching or whatever you want to call it, template. Um, but the only downside to this is over time in the winter or you get a thaw or you wash the deck or your sleds, anything like that. Snow and ice will freeze over this deck and it will become practically an ice rink. And I have um, fallen a lot on this deck, honestly. And I'd say that's about the only downfall to this decking. The Dirt Deck decking is an all aluminum deck and decking, but they just have the caliber ski glides on here, which are really um, grippy. Um, even if you get ice, anything like that on them, they are really grippy. And that's really nice to have. So both decks have three super clamp tie downs. Um, when you have one sled, you're gonna be using the middle one, two sleds, two outer ones. And we will show you in a second how you fit two sleds on these decks. Um, and I will also show you how super clamps work. 
Okay, now for the super clamp tie downs. A lot of people don't know what they are or understand them, and they are worth every penny. Um, they are super nice. Um, I will climb up there and show you how they latch down. I won't be able to show you the best because I don't have a sled, but you will get the idea. So basically your two skis are going to be about right there. You can see my carb carbide mark and right there. This is going to go over the skis, come into that loop. It's going to hook. And then this basically clamps it down like that. Then you have your locker. And that's it. You're done. Your sled's not going anywhere. I go across the country with just this one super clamp on, and I do not worry at all. They do m make back super clamps that hook on to one side of the skid rails, and that is just a secondary precaution, but I do not run those. I never have, and I probably never will. All right, now for the part... Um, a lot of people don't realize what these decks do. I tell them I can put two sleds on here, and they go, no, you can't. How is that possible? And so both these sides come out about, um, I don't know, another 8, 12 inches, I'd say. Um, first, you can remove this pin, and you come to the side. And you just pull it out like that. So you can see the difference between this side and that side. That allows you to be able to put two sleds up there, no problems. Okay, so the Limitless is pretty much the same concept. You have your lock pin here, which you don't honestly have to run. I left them out sometimes, but then you have this locker. Um, this locker pulls back to unlock this side. And the same thing, you just... Pull that side out. There's the difference between the two on these decks. Um, the only downfall to this one, I believe, this actually freezes up sometimes, so it gets stuck shut or open, whatever. We're trying to run into two, and you'd have to basically just beat it free. Hope it doesn't break. Okay, this would be a good time to talk about the electrical, too. Um, with the sides exposed, you get to see the wiring that runs across to your running lights. And the dirt deck does a really good job. I'll show you here in a second. And the limitless, I'd have to say, not so much. So here's underneath the dirt deck. There's your running light. And their wiring actually runs through these tubes so totally enclosed away from the elements i normal people have stocks on doesn't throw as much i do not and it throws a lot and you get a lot of slush road salt dirt all that caked in here so it's good that the wires are enclosed like that so here's the limitless wiring now you can see the wires are exposed with just wire loom and this is the side that actually still works the other side doesn't all these connectors in here rotted out um so that's why the dirt deck is nice that they're all enclosed inside this tubing both decks do have under bed lighting and above deck lighting um i'd have to say the dirt X is once again a little better um there's their underbed lighting. It is very bright. And the Duradeck, the brand new 24s, have a full LED strip running across the whole deck and the bottom of the whole deck side. All the limitless wiring is controlled by one button here. It's for your deck lights and underbed lights. Mine actually do not work anymore. I have not had time to run down the wiring issue, but I'm sure it's just a simple corroded connector or pinched wire somewhere. The dirt deck is ran by two separate buttons. This one being your outside deck lights and then this one under bed deck lights. And I can turn those on or pull up a video. I do have videos at night with them, so I'll do that.
Um, they're both the seven foot standard box decking. Um, this is Limitless is only option deck. And so it has everything that you see, every deck. And these are 5,200 US. They have it in Canadian, they're a Canadian company. Um, this is Duradex Platinum decking, um, seven foot again. And this one runs you 6,400. Um, once again, it's totally worth it. Um, I'm very impressed with it. And the build quality is definitely worth the extra 1,200. One last thing I want to talk about is um, the extra strapping points you have on these decks. Um, for, I mean, I've had dirt bikes up here, any kind of cargo you have, anything else that's not a sled deck and does not use a super clamp, they do both have clamps you can use. And I will show you on both the decks now. Start off on the Limitless, you have a hook on each side of the sides two in the middle, and then one on the side of each headache rack. It's all the hooking you have. I've used them, they work good. Um, not much I can say on these hooks. Now on the dirt deck. Dirt deck has one on each corner of each side. These can be loosened, moved, wherever on that side you want. Totally adjustable. That's on both sides. And then you bo both have a hook on the sides on the headache rack. All right, well, I already know what the number one comment's gonna be if I do not state it, and that is what deck is better and why. Um, personally, I mean, I haven't run this deck in the winter yet. I do know people that have, so I can say with a little bit of experience, I do believe the dirt deck is better. It will run you a little more, but it is better made. Um, the wiring, like I said, is somewhat of an issue on the Limitless. Um, the decking, um, the ramp is a little eh, and overall, their deck is just a better made deck. More durable, um, stronger, and with all the lighting, it just looks cooler, honestly.